Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some very practical tips on how to be more present in the moment with our children. How to really connect with them, spend real quality time with them and bond with them without having our minds hijacked by a bunch of different thoughts and going into autopilot mode because I found that this is something that I really struggle with, even though ironically, you know, I'm a work from home mom and I only work part-time anyway, so I spend a ton of time with my children, but I realized that a lot of this time, even though I'm physically there, I'm not really there. I spend a lot of time in my mind thinking about a bunch of stuff instead of really truly connecting with my children. And so this is something that I have really worked on and I have found these tips which really make a difference in my life and which have really helped me connect with my children on a whole different level. I'm not going to ask you to do some deep breathing, I'm not going to ask you to meditate or to do some mindfulness exercises. The tips I'm going to share with you are tips that you can apply to, you know, to the time that you already spend with your children to make sure that this time is actual real quality time, real connection time and not just time when you're there but you're on autopilot mode. And if you're new to my channel, then welcome. My name is Soraya, I'm a mom of two, and here on this channel, I'm all about mindful parenting, children empowerment, and social emotional learning. And the reality is that as a parent, I spend a lot of time on autopilot mode. You know, the motions of taking care of a child can be so repetitive and so mechanical that I almost go through the motions every day without even thinking about it. You know, it's dinner time and then bath time and then warm milk and brushing their teeth and then bedtime story and then as I'm kissing them the good night, I'm already thinking about the work that I'm gonna get done now that they're finally in bed. And I go through all of this without taking the time to really savor all of those precious, beautiful, ordinary moments because the whole time I'm actually in my thoughts. I'm thinking about something super embarrassing that I said during a team meeting or I'm thinking about what I'm going to cook the next day or I'm thinking about that load of laundry that I need to get going or I'm thinking about the work email my mind is constantly jumping from one thought to another and I forget to really be in the present moment with my kids. And so when I realized that, I thought that's it, you know, I'm gonna really make sure that every day there is at least, you know, a certain amount of time during the day when I am really there with my children and when I really connect with them. But what I quickly realized is that actually it may sound like a really good idea, but it's actually really difficult to do. Our minds are so used to jump from one thought to the next and to wander in the past, in the future, that you know, keeping our minds still and really paying attention to the present moment and sustaining that attention over time can be really, really difficult to do. So over the last couple of months, I've really been very intentional about you know, being present in the moment with my children. And I have found that the more you do it, the better at it you become. So it's really something where it's like a muscle, you know, if you keep working that muscle, you become better and better at it. But also I found that there are these little things, these little tips and tricks that really help me, you know, stay in the moment with my children. So these are what I'm going to share with you right now. So first tip, and just to get the obvious out of the way, um, when I decide that I'm going to spend some quality time with my kids, the first thing that I do is put my phone away or anything that may distract me. For example, for me, uh, I cannot have some quality time or really pay attention to anyone or anything if there are any screens on in the room. But definitely if you want to spend quality time with your child and you've decided that over the next 30 minutes or an hour, you're going to be fully present with them, put your phone away. The second tip that I want to share with you is something that I have learned from Eckhart Tolle, who is the author of The Power of Now. And it's to remind ourselves that all we ever really have is now. You know, the past is gone. It's behind me. I can't do anything about it anymore. Why am I thinking about that embarrassing thing I said during a team meeting when I can't go back in time and change things? What's the point of that? And the future isn't here yet. 
I can't solve a problem that doesn't exist yet because it doesn't exist yet. You know, as a mom, I spend so much time worrying about problems that don't exist yet. You know, my kids' future and when they grow and when this happens and if that happens, these problems don't exist yet. So by definition, I cannot do anything about them yet. So why am I spending so much time and energy, you know, focusing on these problems instead of being in the present moment with my children? You know, if I'm giving my toddler a bath, and I'm thinking about this work email that I need to respond to and this deadline that I need to meet for work. I am not helping myself because right now I'm giving my child a bath. It would be completely irresponsible of me to leave her alone in her bath and go downstairs to answer that work email or to work on that work assignment so that I can finish on time for my deadline. I can't do that. I obviously cannot do that. But if instead I am really focused on the present moment, really connecting with my child, listening to her little stories, connecting to what she's saying, showing interests, asking her questions, looking at her in the eyes, showing her that I am really fully 100% here with her. I am having an incredibly positive impact on the future because I am showing my toddler that I am here for her, that I am approachable, that I listen to her, that I truly deeply care about what she has to say and that nothing is ever too small to share with me. That even the smallest things that bother her or that she just wants to share with me, I care about and I want to listen to them. That there's not a level of importance that, you know, stuff have to reach in order for her to be able to disturb me. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so this is a lot more productive and precious and helpful than worrying about something that I literally cannot do right now <laughs> or a problem that I literally cannot solve right now. And so reminding myself that that's it. The present moment is the only thing that is real really helps me to get back to the present moment and to stop myself from getting into this snowball effect of going from one thought to another to another to another until I'm a million miles away from my child and her bath. <laughs> so reminding myself of that really helps me to get rid of the mind clutter. Now if this is not enough and if you have stuff that are so worrying and so bothering you that they keep crawling back into your mind even though you're trying to give them away, um, then tip number three will help you and this is something that actually helps me too. Whenever I have a thought that keeps crawling back into my head when I really want it out of here, <laughs> at least for now, then I visualize myself throwing it away. I visualize taking this thought out of my head and throwing it in the bin. And this actually, it may sound silly, but I promise you try it. <laughs> it actually really helps. Visualization is a really powerful tool. So visualize yourself taking those annoying thoughts that keep creeping back in, take them out of your head and throw them away. And this can really help you get back to the present moment. Another really helpful exercise that I used to do a lot when I first got started with mindfulness and with mindful parenting is to focus on my five senses. So when I found that it was difficult for me to be present in the moment, I would start to think about something that I can see. I can see my child right in front of me. I can see the little sparkles in her eyes, her little dimples, uh, her beautiful smile. And then I would focus about something that I can feel, touch. So I can feel my hair in my neck. I can feel the clothes against my body. I can feel maybe my chair under me if I'm sitting on a chair. And then something that I can smell. Uh, maybe my I'm giving my child a bath so I can smell the smell of her shampoo, which is a delicious coconut smell. Um, and then I will focus on something that I can hear. I can hear a little voice, her little giggles, maybe the splashes in the water. And then something that I can taste um, if this is relevant. Obviously, when uh, I'm giving her a bath, most of the time I can't really taste anything. So I just focus on the other senses. But if this is a moment when we are sharing a meal together, then maybe I'm savoring my meal and I'm feeling the taste of all the different ingredients. Um, and so, you know, grounding myself in all of these sensations bring me back to the present moment. 
which leads me to my next tip. I don't even know what number we are at now, uh, which leads me to my next tip, but it's to find something in the present moment that you can really savor. And, you know, being present in the moment is not only, especially when it's about being present with your children, right? Because this is really about connecting with our children and spending this quality time with them. It's not just the big idea of being present and spending quality time with them. It's really about savoring this moment. It's really about turning this maybe very ordinary moment into something memorable, a beautiful memory that you will cherish. And I keep talking about giving my children a bath. I always will always remember when I gave each one of my children their first bath, right? It's such a memorable moment. I'm sure all of us can share a story about the first time we gave our newborn baby a bath. We can remember what the bath looked like, what our little tiny baby looked like when we first put them in the water, how they reacted to the water, how we felt, maybe a little awkward, maybe we didn't really know how to bathe a newborn at that point and maybe we were a little bit stressed or maybe we were just fully enjoying that special moment. Um, but we all have a story to tell because this is such a precious memory. But why not make every other bath time a special moment too? Why not remember when she made that massive splash and she giggled so much and there was water everywhere and it was such a precious little moment. So in each moment, there is something that can be savored and that can really be enjoyed. So find the thing in that moment that you can really savor. Sometimes for me, it's the smell of my son's head. Sometimes it's the way the sun shines through my daughter's curls. Sometimes it's a little joke that my daughter made <laughs> that was so sweet because she's three and a half years old. So, you know, toddler jokes. <laughs> it's just so sweet and so precious. So ask yourself, what is it in this moment that I can really savor? And when you really focus on enjoying this, it helps you to really sustain that attention and stay there. If you have found today's video helpful, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.